It's been said that leadership is all about influence. And I think if you think about it, it's really true. Maybe you're leading people and you need to influence them to do a good job. Maybe you're a project manager and you're influencing the people who need to participate on the project. And so when we're in that influence role, we often think about how am I going to motivate the people to do what it is that I need them to do. And sometimes people come to me and they say, is a bonus program a good idea? How should I incent my people? And when they ask that question, I always like to start the discussion by reflecting on a personal experience that I had. So about eight to 10 years ago, I was managing a worldwide customer satisfaction survey. And the purpose of the survey was to talk to our customers after they had had a service experience. And it was your typical survey where almost all, well, all the questions except one were a simple check the box, rate, rate your service experience. But we added one open-ended, broad question in the mix. And that question was, what's the one thing we could do to improve your service experience? And I was tracking the results of the survey and everything was going fine. And then all of a sudden, I saw a horribly disturbing trend. Customers were telling us things like, the one thing that I need you to do is give me some service. Why haven't you called me? Or my service case was closed inappropriately. What's going up there? What's going on at HQ? And I was quite disturbed by this. So I called a few of my friends on the engineering floor. And guess what? A bonus program had gone into place recently. And as I asked a few more questions, here's what I found out. The engineers who performed the service calls only got the bonus if they close all service cases within 30 days. So what do you think was happening out there? They are closing those cases. So time for bonus, they would look at their open roster of cases, and they would look at the ones that maybe were more complex. We're going to take a little bit more of research and analysis, and they'd click on those, close those cases. The next thing that would happen was our customers would receive a closure notification, no service. We'd send out the service um, survey, and that's where we were. So let me ask you, here's the big question. Here's the bottom line question. Was the bonus program working? Actually, it was working very effectively. <laughs> it, was, it was driving behavior we had never seen before. So one of the things you want to do with incentive programs, and we'll see this when we get to our three strategies, is we want to make sure they're tied to vital behaviors. So what vital behavior do you think we wanted to tie the survey to? Improve service. Improve service. Excellent customer um, satisfaction, definitely. But we didn't. We tied it to closing cases within 30 days. We'd never had an issue with it before. Now we did. Why? Because what we created was so effective. So what we're going to look at is making sure that any time we use Source 5 influence, that it's encouraging the right behaviors and discouraging the wrong behaviors. And to make sure you're so effective at this, we're going to drill into three key strategies that will ensure that you're all experts at using this source of influence and can be world-class influencers.